Today we're going to talk about how to use your smart Victron solar controller. So the good news about this is it's kind of out of sight, out of mind, in that you actually don't have to touch with it or mess with it. It should just always be working. Uh, but I will go over a couple details so that you know it's working. So this right here is what we call the MPPT controller uh, model. It's basically, it's 30% more efficient than most other models you see out there like the PMW uh, as an example. Uh, but basically we've got our little indicator lights here that will be blinking a little bit every so often. And what you'll see there is that first one is called bulk, the second one is absorption, and the third one is float. Now these are really just indicating the state of charge that your batteries are in, right? And so that bulk mode is going to push a lot of power at a high current uh, for that initial charge of your battery as your batteries are low. And then the absorption is gonna be more of a steady uh, current um, just as it's you know trickle charging those batteries. And then the float uh, mode is basically at towards the end of the charge of your batteries when they've reached full capacity and it's just keeping them topped off, okay? So those are just indicators of where you're at in your charging. Now, important to note that solar is a good trickle charger. I, by no means, um, typically, unless you had like a 1, thousand, 1200 watts or so, uh, would you be running your vehicle solely off solar? And so keep that in mind. It's a good trickle charger, but probably not going to power your entire van for all of eternity. One cool thing about this smart controller is that you can actually download the Victron app and connect to the controller uh, via Bluetooth on your phone. And you can actually get a in real time uh, view of how your solar is doing. And so you can see how much power it's pulling in and all of the cool stats on it. Now let's say that reading is zero and showing that you have zero power coming in and your car is not turned on, you are parked in full sun, and your battery is not fully charged, and you're not plugged into shore power, but it's still reading zero, then that may be indicative of a connection issue or something wrong with the controller. In this case, reach out to Van Do It via support ticket, and we will help get you taken care of.